It's the Squanicook at the H&V Dam. It's a drought here, but we just got about three inches of rain on average. Air temperature, low 70s. Water temperature, 70 degrees. Perfect day. Humidity's a little on the high side, not bad. And so here we go. It's myself, Captain Pike, fleet captain that is, of the CYA, the Commodore himself, and the commander. The Commodore has a new boat. Whoa! Nice. What is that for? I don't know what it is, but it's got a. It's carrying something. Yeah, it's got. It's got. It's on. It's on flim. It's got. I photographed that. Nice. They have that sub sub blah blah. No wind today, which is kind of nice compared to the last few times we've been out. No ducks. Wonder if they've re-established the rope swing. Looks like they have. Yeah, didn't the branch break or something? So we had the feeling something was watching us. It's a long established swimming hole here with a rope and a ladder and all kinds of nice stuff right along the river here at the bend. Typically the water here moves fairly quickly because it's turning a corner and the depth's pretty good. Because that water moves through here, there's not a lot of swampy goop on the bottom, so it's a sandy bottom. Fortunately, the top of this tree broke off. Hopefully no one was on it when it broke off. Looks like somebody's added more ladder steps to the top and replace the rope. It's fairly deep here too. I don't know, probably six foot here? Hard to say. Nice new rope though. Soon we'll be at the beaver dam. Oh. Good old Squanicook Lake. I, I, I guess their grand plan is probably to dam the whole river. But, but yeah, they've done, you can, I don't think you can get, well, I don't know, you could probably power through there if you wanted to, but. Yeah, let's see what trap brook swamp pond. Huh? Trap brook Trap. Trap. Trap brook swamp stream. Its friends call it Little Trappy. Nope, that's the exact opposite way. Then you have to go around.
There was a heck of a crop of blueberries this year. This area in particular is just full of blueberry bushes. This beaver dam on Trap Brook Swamp, Brook Swamp, Brook, brook Swamp Brook. <laughs> Say the name. <laughs> Trap Swamp Brook. And it's attended beaver dam. This, this dam in front of us here has been smacked around in the past few years. In fact, this piece right in front of us here, part of the former dam, just got knocked down and kicked down and reestablished here. I don't know if beavers are using it at this point as a lodge, but it sure does make a nice little island. And goodness, there must be at least 10 different varieties of vegetation growing on it. Let's take a look. Them little fellas work hard to keep this in place. I don't think they've got anything in this because there's water levels like a foot lower. Huh. Yeah. Well they reestablished it for a while it didn't go all the way across. Yeah, it they well, that's because it was the water level was higher. Uh, it was about water level. Yes, no, and maybe. Yeah. <laughs> now, that, it looks like they have a pretty good foundation there, though. Yeah. Yeah, this is about the same as it was last time we were here. Yep. Oh, there's all the decrepit. Everything's decrepit. Yep. Well, it doesn't look like they've been doing much work on it. In fact, there's nothing really fresh there to speak of. Stupid trees. Tried to catch you. Yeah, clutching and clutching at you. Oh. It's two boats in one. I wonder if they, ha you know, I bet you they've reestablished a dam further up, and that's why they haven't worked much on this one. Possible. They're smarter than the average human when it comes to dams. Yeah, more, uh, more perseverant. Perseverant? Perseverant? Preservative, preservative free, all natural. Uh, all right. Summer's almost over, another couple of weeks. 
been a good one in some ways. Awful hot. Could use some more rain. So hopefully you're enjoying today's trip. And if you are, please subscribe. Don't forget the hops plant. Well, this up here is that hops plant. Yep. I'm pointing right at them now. Yeah, I expect it's late enough in the season it would have flowered. Wow. Let's make beer. Hops over there. It's spreading out. Hops over there. Yeah. Let's see. Yep, that's it right there. Those uh, leaves that kind of look like grape, grape leaves. That's hops. You bet. Yep. And you can see there's some right there. See? What? Hops right at my paddle end there. Is this it? Not this. No, no, this right here. It's it's got leaves that look like grape leaves almost. Yeah. Is it not this plant? No. It's over here. Oh. Oh, I see it. Yes, and you, and you get the flowers from that. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, the little white um, cone shaped things there. Yes, log shaped thing. Oh. If I can get close enough. Hops from the hops plant. Yeah, that was the one that Joe spotted. You can eat them. Yeah. Yeah, it's the shortcut. Let's see if we can get through. It's a trap. Hmm. That was delightful. All right, so another good reason to subscribe. Lots of boat noises and splashing. Now, let's see. I think, I think, I think, I think I can get through here. I think I can. I think I can. I think.
Fall's coming. And now we can get across at this other end where, thankfully, somebody several years ago cut the tree so we can pass. Today may be an exception. We may not be able to get through. Well, let's take a look. We have alternative routes. And then you can get you can go around the other one. You have to. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, you can do that. Now we've done this before. They're all floaters. Yeah, we, we've been through here many times. Yep. So I paddle through the valley of the house. So we want to go up here. Correct. It's the little squanny. Don't think we'll be doing this today. Last time we came in here, we really couldn't get by these different blocks, blockades, gnarly things. It was a nice idea. It's not the day for it. Okay, so we just stay on the main river here. Yeah. Is that the way we went before? Yes. Yeah. Yep, that's a little squawny. Now, do we want to sit for a while and hang out, or do we want to just keep paddling? Well, let, yeah, let's see what time it is. Let's see. About 4.30? Yeah, it must be getting 4.04. Oh, it's only 404. Well, it took us like two hours, just about two hours to get here. Yeah. Yeah, but we did a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, if we went, if we went back now, we'd be back. In the you know what? Let's go, right. let's go up here, and there's like a little hideaway that we can get into and hang out. You know the one I'm talking about. It's the one we always talk about. Every time we go there, we talk about shooting film. This is 70 degree water. This wouldn't be bad swimming if you were a swimmer, I suppose. Air temp's a little low. A little particular. Nice and sandy. I like my water particularly. Yeah. Can't see a thing. <laughs> Clean. It's a little bit further on on the left. Yep, mud pond we call it. Mud pond. It's a nice little area off on the side here. 
place to go where nobody knows your name. At least hope so. It's Mud Pond. We made it. We did. Are there any mud mounds? Uh, back over there. Yeah, in there too. Yep. Last time I was here, I did find some. Yep. There's some there on my, yep. at about 9 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, mud. That's the one. All right, now it's goodbye to Mud Pond. Back to the river which is currently in progress. <laughs> Nothing to grab onto. Okay. Boat noises. You ever try these? Yes, they're very good. If you're looking for a river in the Groton, Pepper, towns in the area, you can't go wrong with Squanacook. Can launch several different areas. Never had a bad experience here. Always the best. It's the Sneezing River. The area I'm passing through right now is an overwhelming odor of it's not cinnamon, but my goodness, it smells like cinnamon. Oh yeah. It's just a wonderful day. You can't beat being on the river. If you haven't got a boat, folks, you ought to try it. Kayaking is not expensive. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Thank you. 
Another beautiful day on the Squanacook. September 7th, 2022. Summer's almost over. Another two weeks. It's been a beautiful day today. Not a lot of sun, but we've had quite a bit of sun this year. Very hot, very hot summer. Today, perfect. Mid 70s, water temperature is about 70. Not that we're planning on swimming, but what the heck? Data is good. fish. We're heading back after a beautiful day on the water. Cloudy, warm, absolutely fantastic. Still summer, sun's still setting fairly late in the day. We are taking advantage of it. Look at that tree. Now stop looking at that tree. Yep, they got stairs, impromptu stairs, going all the way up to the top now. Yep. What, Ten. Could, go, what could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Is that a baby up there? Did you hear that? It sounded like they let the dam go for a second. Well, yeah, but a minute or two ago it was like a lot louder. It's a big splashy noise. Yeah, I heard the pitch and tenor of that water changing. A lot of splashing for a, a tiny bit while. I didn't, I didn't notice it. Yeah. I mean, I'll listen to it in the soundtrack, but it was like a big splash, like... Like you let a whole bunch of water go over at once. Just like that. Did you hear that? No? There it goes again. And there it goes again. That was certainly big fun. Can I give you a talk on that? Sure. Take all the help I can get. Ugh. And a replacement leg. Alright, you ready? Yep. Perfect. 